Hey and welcome to devlog number 14. Hope you're all doing good. I hate to say it, but I've just been busy with not game dev related stuff these last two weeks, so I did not get much accomplished. Unfortunately, this is definitely going to be one of those short episodes that I compensate for by leaning into the baking segment, which I know is just everyone's favorite part of each episode. So, last video, I dived headlong into UE4's animation system and surprisingly didn't sink. I got some basic stuff going and I quickly set up some blueprint stuff to test it out, and it was good for the most part. But if you recall, I did run into a single hangup that I wanted to sort out before I made more animations, a more intuitive way to create additive animations. As I detailed last time, my complaint was that I had to base all my additive animations off the A pose, meaning I would first create the animation in Blender, export it to UE4 to check it was good, then have to go back into Blender to modify it if it wasn't, re-import it all, yada yada yada. Just a big hassle. I I wanted a tool in Blender so that way I could make a base animation and another one with the additive changes I wanted. Then I'd just get the difference between those two to automatically create the standalone additive animation. So that's just what I did. Long story short, I made it, it works, and you can find the link to it in the description. The rest of this video is just going to be a walkthrough of how to use it and some things that I'll end up changing if I ever get around to it. At the moment it is extremely bare bones. I'll probably get around to adding some things in the future, but eh, I'm trying to make a game here. So, as you can see, when a file has more than two actions, a tab on the 3D viewport will appear labeled Arithmetic Animations. Sexy name, I know. Give that a click and you'll get to the panel that operates the add-on. Mode specifies whether the animation being created will be the difference of two animations or the average of two. Name is, of course, the name of the animation to be created, and actions A and B are the two animations that the new one is going to be created created from. See? Super simple. Once you have everything entered properly, you can just press the button that appears to create your new animation. Now, it may take a second or two, especially if you have a super long animation, so give it some time. But that's it. And here's the precise use case I made it for, creating easy additive animations. Here I have the squat animation, and also this squat with a nod of the head animation. I set the mode to difference, give it a nice new name, and then select the base animations, then I just let it run and I have a new animation of just nodding. As you can see, yes, it does murder that bad boy with keyframes every damn frame. There is probably a smarter way to do things, but I never claim to be a smart man. And of course, average works just as you think it would. I'll set it up to take the average of the squat and the walk animation. I'll name it squawkin. Boom. As you can see, my boy is squawking. Now, word of precaution. At the moment, it only really works with animations that are the same length. So when I get around to it, I'll add support for different length animations. And also, just using difference willy-nilly can get strange. I created this animation by taking the difference of squatting and walking, and it's just weird. There's some quaternion dickery under the hood, so results are not guaranteed. As I said, if you want this add-on, there's a link in the description to it. If you have any feedback, just let me know, however is convenient for you. Leave it in a comment here, hit me up on Twitter, create an issue in the repo, whatever. It's licensed under the WTFPL, so quote, everyone is permitted to copy and distribute verbatim or modified copies of this licensed document, and changing it is allowed as long as the name is changed, end quote. The only term is, quote, you just do what the fuck you want to. End quote. This is going to be another back burner project, so don't expect frequent updates from me. Anyway, that's it for this video. I was unfortunately not joking about being busy with other stuff these last two weeks. That's just how it is sometimes. While it was short, I hope you enjoyed it. I know you've got other things that draw your attention, so I really do appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch this video. I put out new videos every two weeks. And if you want to follow along with either my devlogs or my Math for Game Dev series, please subscribe. I also love getting comments, so please leave a comment and I'm just delighted to read it. My next video is 100% going to be the long-awaited calculus video. I hope you drop by for that. You can also follow me on Twitter. I have been terrible and haven't really been posting anything lately, but as I said, I have been a lot busier than I would have preferred these last two weeks. However, my strategic reserve of pictures of baked goods is just not as dummy thick as it used to be. So I'll get back to tweeting sooner or later. And speaking of baking, let's get to it. So not bread, not macaroons, 
not a cake. Uh, these are actually chocolate chip cookies, and um, I've actually made these before. This is a this is the Levon style chocolate chip cookie. So it is. They're basically each cookie is basically the size of my fist, and they are just gooey on the inside, which is really possibly my favorite style of chocolate chip cookie. I'm really just I'm a big fan of cookie dough, and. It's hard to tell, but they are. I mean, I hope this picture is communicating just how absolutely massive they are. And I really, when I make these, I try to pull out all the stops. Um, <laughs> so I brown my butter, I toast the walnuts, everything. Um, my friends have actually, you know, they've had the original cookies from New York, the the Levon Baker in New York. And the only thing is, I don't have a convection oven. So apparently, the real deal, the the skin is just a little, a little. So, oh well, um, maybe when I get a fancy oven, I'll be able to, to uh, you know, nail it 100%. Oh, what else? Here we can see, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it only ma my recipe only makes like uh, 10 or so cookies, especially since I brown the butter. I don't get the full dozen. I think I get like 10 and a half, actually. Maybe 11 and a half, I forget. But yeah, they're, they're just big, gigantic cookies, and I really love them. They're just, ugh, 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 ugh. And so I make these, like, once or twice a year because, you know, you know, I can't just go around and be making these every week and I will, ugh, I'll, I'll end up a complete butterball. But, um, so here we have, and they're, honestly, they're really good. Um, you know, why, Joshua Weissman has a, res, has a recipe. I'll include the link in the description because these cookies are so good. You should try them yourself. So I base my recipe off of Weissman's, and then I just, you know, I toast the walnuts, brown the butter, just simple steps, simple things you can do to really bump it up a notch or two. And my God, they come out, oh, they come out great. And the, you know, baking for gifts, these make exceptional gifts. You can just give out four cookies to like somebody, and that's like, they're set for the week, basically. <laughs> like that's a gift. Uh, and, um, oh, as you can see, these, pictures do great on social media especially like this photo this is the last photo i was really trying to get a gorgeous picture of these cookies and this is a there yeah it's as i said it is gooey it is filled with chocolate it's just oh oh i love these cookies you know i hope you're all doing okay out there you know even if you're busy i was i was god i was busy i hate to say it i was burning the candle at both ends but you know the sun also rises. Thanks, Hemingway. <laughs> I'm definitely rambling, so I'm going to cut it here. Use the usual sign-off. The yeast in the air is free. I hope you bake. It makes great gifts. And um, what else? I think that's it. And I will see you next time.